right, here's my latest project. It's a 1952 uh, Willis Aero Coupe. I got bought the car from a friend of mine over in uh, Zephyr Hills, and the car is exceptional for a 1952. This thing has maybe a place total of rust as big as your hand on it. But it's a unique car. They uh, only, I don't know, no, I haven't seen one in years. When I was a kid, they were around, but not anymore. It has a two-piece windshield. I'm kind of uh, afraid to take the windshield out and replace the rubber because this windshield is 1700 bucks. So uh, a lot of money. I like the hood ornament. And if you look down on the front, the nose, it's really down here. I mean, the lines in this thing, it'll be perfect. I'm going to not put a bumper on it. I'm going to turn it under here. But look how these lines, everything just kind of rolls. The hood rolls down, it comes around like this. This rolls and comes in here. Just really neat looking. I'm excited about doing it. The only real rusty place on it is right here on the front to about here on the hood. The hood's not connected, so uh, there's no motor in it. And I mean, it's super clean underneath it. And I'm deciding on whether to put Mustang II front suspension under it or put a straight axle. Haven't decided yet. What I'm doing now, I'm sanding the body down where that I can uh, paint it, get some paint on it. Uh, the guy I got it from started sanding it. He didn't complete it. I'm sanding it all the way down to the uh, metal. And I've got this fender done and I've knocked a lot of it off. So I mean, look, you want to come in that other door over there. This is. The interior was very sparse in it, and uh, it had a place for a radio, but it was a radio delete, and I don't know what the other button was over there, but all the gauges are right here in this cluster. And I don't, I'm not gonna cut up the dash to put gauges in it. I'm gonna hang a gauge pod down here. This car has no secrets, I mean, it's so solid, the floor and everything. Oh, man, it? get underneath it and look at it. I mean, it's incredible. Yeah. And they even yeah. drilled it over here on the side for weight loss. To race. <laughs> I'm right kidding. On. I don't know why they did that. Yeah. yeah. Vent holes, Fred. Yeah. I don't know. And, uh... Wow, the rockers are beautiful. Yes. Everything. Come around to the back, it's a little odd looking in the back, but it's got a three piece back window, and that thing probably is outrageous if you broke it. And I think I priced one of the little core windows here, and they're like $700 a piece used. So the same thing back here in the back, I can take this off, and if you can see underneath, that's already rolled underneath it, so this all just will, will roll right under. I'll make the exhaust come out someplace under there. And a uh, couple little holes on each end, Fred. Yeah. That's a good place. Yeah. Put all that nice little uh, piece of metal in there and. Mm -hmm. But look at the trunk. The floor of it. I mean, solid as a rock. Right. And then over here, the spare tire. There's no rust in there. There's a little. But right. you see these things most of the time. They're gone normally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this Fantastic. is a very nice car. Yeah. It'd be a good place. Yeah. Start. So this is the start. Like I said, come up here and I'll show you the bedroom. I'm uh, saying to do it all the way down this evening. And I quit because I don't want to have the compressor running. And aggravate people but I did this whole thing in maybe 30 minutes All right. and I've been sanding on it so I've got the uh, you can see the dust I've got once I get to the red mm -hmm. it comes off like nothing all right the gray's a little uh, tough to get off okay 
because it's got the post. Yeah. Which is neat. Boy, this is going to be fun, Fred. Mm -hmm. I love these old things. Yeah, I'm excited about it. It's uh, going to be a neat car. Okay. I'm going to sit it down lower. Yeah. And drop it. That, that's why you want the Mustang too. My right. vote's for the Mustang too. Right. Of course, that's more money. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> and we're clear, Fred.